I'm getting a little antsy and I want to frame up the wall that's going to go across this new floor that we put down and it goes up and helps support the new ceiling structure that we have up there. The string that I've got down right now is straight and that's where my wall is going to be. So then when you're in this hallway space and you look at this wall that's going to be through here, it's going to be a straight wall. This little black mark here, that represents 36 inches of space from that railing. learning about all the piddly stuff you have to do when you're framing walls. If you can imagine sheetrock being on this wall and going up and then sheetrock coming across here, you know, you have to have these things called nailers. A nailer is basically just any piece of wood that can go up like this and it gives you a, a space to put your sheetrock and screw into. As far as what we got done this weekend, I got the two by six wall framed. I've got triples underneath these big beams that go, you know. So this goes from this old beam down, and then there's a summer beam that runs this way that it's on top of. And then I've got a triple on our new beam that we made that goes down. Doesn't hit anything substantial down here, but it's very close to the main beam in the house. The main beam in the house is right there, so it works out. Got the doors very roughed out. And then I did, I did <clears throat> get the wall up as you saw me struggling for the center of the bedrooms. And this basically is making the bedrooms, we're just gonna round up and say, basically they're like 11 by 11 or 12 by 12. They're somewhere in there. So this, this room that I'm in now is gonna be the room that the kid that is the least lowest on the totem, the totem pole, yeah, least likely to fight because it's got the whole slant and it's the smallest. It will be closest to mom and dad, but 